Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your motherfucking boy, Julius, man. And we back with another reaction video for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to say salute to all my supporters out there. Y'all already know. Appreciate y'all, man. A thousand percent. Truly appreciate every single one of y'all, man, from the bottom of my motherfucking heart. Y'all already know that. So real quick, man, you know what I'm saying, before I get started, I know there's a whole lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, the other week or whatever, you know what I'm saying, with the satanic, you know what I'm saying, the satanic rapper's joint that I did. I I, I ended up taking that shit down myself, man. I, I don't want nobody to get it fucked up, you know what I'm saying? I, I took that shit down myself because I got a lot of respect for Tom, man. I got a lot of respect for him as an artist and whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I just thought it was something that needed to be heard, you know what I'm saying, to be honest. Like, this shit needed to be heard by more people. So that's the reason why I posted it or whatever. I don't know. I just thought that if if it was something that Tom didn't post or whatever, I just thought, like, yo, like, at this point, you know what I'm saying? Because YouTube been doing whatever for a long time, you know what I'm saying? Like, they've been doing anything for a long time and whatnot. I just thought, like, maybe YouTube wouldn't allow certain things to be posted, you know what I'm saying, if it wasn't authorized by the actual artist, you know what I'm saying, to be posted on YouTube at all. So it got twisted or whatever, but... Whatever, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna dwell on this shit too long, you know what I'm saying? We gonna keep this shit moving, man, because I like to represent positivity and all of that, you know what I'm saying, on my channel. I can't speak for nobody else, but on this channel right here, I focus on positivity and positive energy, you know what I'm saying, and being optimistic and all of that shit. So, with that being said, you know what I'm saying, that was my bad. My apologies, you know what I'm saying, for posting that, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. But I ended up taking it down, so it's all good. Like I said, I got a lot of respect for Tom, and I got respect for everybody that got a lot of respect for Tom that appreciates his music the way I do, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't want to motherfucking be on no bullshit or whatever. So it is what it is. Now we off for that. So now, you know what I'm saying, we got this joint right here from Tom McDonald, man, you know what I'm saying? brainwash you know what i mean now this shit finna be crazy we already know i ain't doing no more motherfucking talking i did enough talking already you know what i'm saying so we about to get into this motherfucker you feel me let's go let's see what we got baby yes sir let's go the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows, politics, celebrity <laughs> gossip, popular neat quotes. Black already, man. See, see, <laughs> that's what I love about Tom, man. He just start going in, nigga. He don't give a fuck <laughs> about no waiting for the beat to drop. That nigga, like, soon as the shit drop, soon, soon as the drums hit, nigga, the nigga just start going in, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Come on, nigga. And, and he ain't lying though. It's only ten seconds in, and the nigga ain't lying, man. Everybody's so focused on this vaccine and, and being vaccinated and all of that shit. It's fucking dividing everybody, yo. This shit right now got the whole world in a frenzy. Not just the U.S., nigga. Like, the whole entire world is in a frenzy over this vaccination. You know what I mean? Over being vaccinated and all of that shit. It, it, it's really dividing the whole entire world. Not just the country that you live in. The whole entire world is being divided by this shit, man. And it's crazy. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. The most dangerous right. pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. Ooh. We don't need to defund police, need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer. Customer lost and big oil runs the world. The only wars to get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They get. <laughs> That's a fact right there, nigga. That, that, that's a fact right there, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They don't want us to be on the same page, man. They don't want us to be connected as one. You know what I'm saying? Because if we come together as a unit, then they already know 
there's powers in numbers. So if we together, niggas is going to overturn the government and all kind of sinister shit that's going on in the world right now, man. There's a lot of crazy shit going on on this motherfucking planet, you know what I'm saying, that a lot of people aren't aware of that need to be made aware of what's going on. There's a lot of other shit, man. It's not just this vaccinated shit that's going on and all of that, the mask wearing and all of that stuff, the stuff that we already know about, you know what I'm saying? But we're being blinded by all of this propaganda bullshit that's going on with the vaccinations and the mask wearing and all of that shit, you know what I'm saying? We're being blinded and all of the other shit is being swept under the rug. And a lot of it is in our faces, but we just choose to not pay attention to it because we're focused on the vaccines and the masks and all of that shit. So the other problems that are just as big, or maybe not as big, some of them aren't as big, but a lot of the problems that are as big as the main ones that we're looking at, you know what I'm saying, on the news and all of that shit are being... You know what I'm saying? Dangle right in front of our motherfucking eyes and shit. But we just choose to ignore it because we focus on this shit right now. But if we come together, you know what I'm saying? If niggas come together, you know what I mean? In every country and everything like that all over the world, then we'll be able to have a better chance with getting this shit right the way it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Because right now it ain't right, man. But if we band together, if we come together as a unit, we'll be able to do more for this motherfucking country and for the world as a whole, man. That's real shit. Stop us, cause we're ready to fight. Try to brainwash us, but we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. Us against them, it ain't you against me. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want what's best for us, I find it hard to believe. Cause they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18. Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life. Cause the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. And I don't know what I'm all sick of. Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate 100 Xanax for dinner. Cause censoring the president (laughs) and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign belief. Missile. You don't trust the police or the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? White privilege right. getting amplified to reinforce the vision. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Not every... It's just, it's just- Black versus white, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that, that's the way it's been for God knows how long, you know what I'm saying? But it, it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be black versus white, you know what I'm saying? It should be, you know what I mean, a conscious <laughs> against the motherfucking people that are trying to control everybody, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's what it should be, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. I don't know. This shit is crazy right now, but I'm just hoping that things get better, man. I pray and pray every single day that things get better for everybody because right now it's it's just complete motherfucking chaos going on, man. People don't know which way to turn, which way to go, and it's just a crazy time right now, man, but I'm just hoping that it get better, man. I really hope liberal is dumb that all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. Mm. They can't stop us because we're ready to fight, trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. Step one. Train the people only to consume. Step two, infiltrate adults with the news. Step three, indoctrinate right. the children through the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they use. Step four, Ooh. separate the right from the left. Step five, separate mm. the white from the black. Step six, uh. separate the rich from the poor. Use religion and equality to separate them more. Step seven, Ooh. fabricate a problem made a lie. Step eight, put it on the news every night. Step nine, when people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. They can't stop us Cause we're ready to oh, he, uh, 
He gave every step, man, you know what I'm saying, to what's going on in the world right now, yo. That's crazy, man. Shouts to Tom, man. This nigga, this nigga's incredible. We fight, try to brainwash us, but we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. Us against them, it ain't you against me. Right. Crazy, bro. Woo! Another motherfucking crazy one right there from Tom, yo. I mean, what more do I need to say about that shit, man? I mean, that that shit was incredible, bro. Everything that Tom dropped is incredible. He already retail know that. e-commerce. Well then. knows that shit, man. Everything this dude dropped is incredible, man. You know what I'm saying? He speaks on the current issues that's going on in the world. And he don't really give a fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it could be somewhat detrimental to his career by doing that shit so much, but he don't. Do, he, he really don't give a fuck about what people think, man. He's independent. He doing what the fuck he want to do. He say what he want, when he want to say it, and how he want to say it. And he probably be daring a motherfucker to come at him. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it ain't going to do no good. He's still going to do what he want regardless. I, I'm sure he's gotten people to say things to him or whatever. People have said things to him or whatever about doing this and that or whatever. But the nigga don't give a fuck, man. He's doing it his way the way he want to do it. And he don't care about the consequences or the repercussions or what he's talking about. But it need to be talked about, man. He one of the leaders in this shit right now, man. There ain't many artists, period, whether signed or independent, that are talking about the shit, you know what I'm saying, that he's talking about. They're not talking about the things that he's talking about in these motherfucking songs, man. You know what I'm saying? And he's speaking with passion and so much, you know what I'm saying, you know, conviction and passion and all of that shit. He's speaking from the heart and the soul, man. You know what I'm saying? And people got to respect that shit. You don't have to like everything he say or agree with everything that he's saying, but you got to respect it, though. He got heart to be saying this shit at all, man. And he's doing it on a broad spectrum. He's doing it on a, a fucking world stage. You know what I'm saying? And he, he putting his own money up and doing this shit. So it's like, come on, man. You got to respect that, man. You know what I mean? We need more people like Tom in the game that are speaking the fucking truth and speaking that real shit, speaking motherfucking truth, speaking from their heart and their soul and don't care about what other motherfuckers think, man. We need more motherfuckers like Tom doing this shit because right? Tom is one of the few that's doing it and doing it at a high level. Like, like, And, and on top of that, the nigga is going hard with dropping motherfucking music, man. Like Tom is at that level where he... The nigga, the nigga ain't got to drop a lot of music if he don't want to. Like, the nigga don't have to drop every motherfucking week or every other week. He drops often, man. He don't have to do that shit at this point in his career if he don't want to. He been doing it for a minute. He can sit back and chill. You know what I'm saying? The nigga can just sit back and chill, you know what I'm saying, if he want to. But he, he continuing to put music out at a high level, man. You know what I'm saying? More than motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, that are of his stature or where he's at in his career but come on you gotta respect that man you gotta respect that shit but anyway i'm I'm just off on some rant type shit right now but anyway um that shit was fire man shouts to tom for another motherfucking dope track you know what i mean real shit man um crazy motherfucking track right there crazy motherfucking track crazy bars crazy beat everything was crazy man shouts to nova rockefeller too you know what i'm saying Super motherfucking dope combo right there, man. You know what I mean? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought about that joint right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you want me to react to next. Feel what I'm saying? Um, You know, like this joint right here if you was feeling it. Like this joint right here if you was feeling it, man. You know what I'm saying? Share this with your peoples. Tell your friends, your family. Tell everybody about the motherfucking channel so we can keep making it grow crazy. All right, y'all? You know what I'm saying? And sub to the channel, man. If you ain't subbed yet, hit that sub button. And show some support for your boy. Y'all already know, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit the little bell notification up top so you know when your boy drop another vid on y'all. You feel what I'm saying? And that's it, man. That's all I got for y'all with this one right here. But I'll catch y'all on the next one, though, all right?